皆様本日は株式会社ポケモン新事業戦略発表会にお越しいただきまして誠にありがとうございますまず株式会社ポケモン代表取締役社長石原常和よりご挨拶と本日の発表会についてお話しさせていただきますその後ゲストが登場しての説明最後に質疑応答フォトセッションを予定しておりますそれでは石原社長お願いいたします Please welcome the CEO, Mr. Ishihara. お忙しい中、弊社の発表会にお越しいただきありがとうございます。本日は皆さんにポケモンの新たなプロジェクトについて発表させていただきます。So thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here today. Today I would like to announce a new Pokemon project. これまでポケモンはあまりこのような大掛かりな発表会は行ってこなかったんですけれども、まあこのプロジェクトだけはしっかり皆さんに直接伝えていきたいと考え。このような場を設けさせていただきました。So here at the Pokemon Company, we've never really done a formal press conference like this before. But with this project in particular, I wanted to be able to talk to all of you directly at a conference like this. 実は本日発表するプロジェクトは2年にわたり、任天堂の岩田さんと取り,取り組んできたものであり、まあ、本来であれば、えー、今日ここで。一緒に発表したいと考えていました。まあそんな思いもあり、この発表会を決断しました。So to tell you the truth, I had actually been working on this project for the past two years with Mr. Iwata from Nintendo, and unfortunately, I'm not able to be here today with him to announce it to you together.、Um, that desire, though, drove me to the decision to really have this press conference to talk to you all here today. それではこれから新プロジェクトの発表を行います。まずはこのビデオをご覧ください。So now I'd like to move on to the announcement, but first please take a look at this video.
So what do you think? So as you could tell from the video, our new project that we're announcing here today is a Pokemon game on smartphones called Pokemon Go. In order to make this project happen, we needed to form a new team. So the developer on this game is Niantic Labs, which began as an internal startup at Google. And it was recently announced that Niantic Labs had become an independent company called Niantic Inc. So with Niantic as our partner, the Pokemon company is moving forward with the development of this game. And one other company, Nintendo, has also come on board as a partner for this project. So today I'd like to tell you more about this project that Niantic, Nintendo, and the Pokemon Company are all working together on. But first, I'd like to speak a little bit to the background of how this project got started. So as I believe most of you here are all aware, in the Pokemon games, you catch Pokemon, and then you can use them to trade or battle with friends in real life. So just a couple of weeks ago, we had the Pokemon World Championships in Boston, where the number one players of the card game and the video games were determined. And as was demonstrated there, the Pokemon in the games really serve as catalysts for real-life communication, as well as social interaction with other players from all around the world. And also the settings in which the Pokemon adventures and the games take place are often inspired by real-life regions such as the Hokkaido or Kanto regions of Japan, or even places like uh, Paris or New York. So the imaginary worlds in which these Pokemon adventures take place are very familiar, they're very similar to our own. And we design them in a way that they can easily be imagined by, for example, looking at a real-life map. And of course, one of our goals has always been that player actions, such as searching out Pokemon and using them to trade with other players, will really enrich the player's in-game experience and also their real-life experience. So actually, it was some time ago when I was kind of working on some concepts for future Pokemon games when a certain someone introduced a game to me that had just come out of beta test called Ingress. So I 
、まあ、ポケモンと共通する哲学があると感じましたそしてナイアンティックとならポケモンの新しいゲーム世界が構築できると考えました。So English really impressed me and I got really into the game. At the same time, I felt that it shared a philosophy with the Pokemon games and that if we were to, for example, team up with the developer Niantic, we could create really all new Pokemon game worlds. 私に English というゲームを持ってきてくれた人を紹介しましょう。So now I'd like to introduce to all of you the person who brought English to me. The CEO of Niantic, Mr. John Henke. Thank you for allowing us to be part of this. Hi. I'm John Hankey and I'm the founder of Niantic Labs. こんにちは、ナイアンティックのファウンダーのジョン・ハンキです。I'm incredibly excited to be here today with Ishihara-san and the Pokemon Company to talk about this exciting new product. 本日、ポケモンの皆様、およびイシハラさんとこうして一緒にこの場に立ち、このようなエキサイティングな発表ができてとても嬉しく思います。In my first、uh, encounters with Mr. Ishihara, I was so happy that he began playing Ingress and actually became a high level Ingress agent very quickly. And I discovered that we had a common vision for building a whole new kind of Pokemon game. 新しいポケモンのゲームを作ることに対してとても、えー、興奮を覚えました。It was very clear to me that、uh, Mr. Ishihara loved games and that he was very open to exploring new ideas. そして何より、石原さんはゲームを愛しており、新しいアイデアを常に探している方であることに感銘を受けました。So we founded Niantic in Google back in 2010 with the goal of encouraging people to come together to explore the outside world in a fun, social way. And maybe learn something about their community at the same time. So, our first game, Ingress, has brought together millions of people from around the world in a game where a walk in the park or a trip to work. Can become part of an epic sci fi battle for the fate of humanity. In Ingress, places like historical sites, monuments, statues, even local businesses are transformed into portals from another universe which players battle to control. ゲーム内では現実世界の歴史的な場所、公園、モニュメントなどがポータルと呼ばれる重要拠点となり、プレイヤーは毎日ポータルを巡って競い合っています。そして、現実世界でつながることができるというのがこのゲームの新しい体験です。So players meet up in the real world to play together, to go on adventures together. プレイヤーは現実世界で待ち合わせをしてミッションを一緒にしたり探検をしたり。And about once a month, in cities all around the world, they come together for massive events that combine urban exploration and gameplay and teamwork and a festival like atmosphere. そして数ヶ月に一度は世界中の都市で行われるイベントに参加し、お祭りのような雰囲気の中、街を探索し、戦いを楽しみ、プレイヤー同士で交流を深めています。So it's wonderful to see players form friendships. Sometimes even romances, marriages. This year we've seen our first babies born from couples who met through playing Ingress. このようなゲームを通じた現実世界のつながりはより深みを増し、愛情にも発展しています。ゲームを通して結婚するユーザーまで現れ、今年にはなんと、イングレスによって結ばれたカップルに,カップルに赤ちゃんが誕生しました。So today that vision for a whole new kind of gameplay is taking a huge step forward. そして本日、このような新しい体験はさらに大きな一歩を踏み出すこととなります。私たちは、ポケモンコンパニー、ニンテンド
to bring the best parts of Ingress and Pokemon together to create a whole new style of Pokemon game. 我々は株式会社ポケモンおよび任天堂と一緒にイングレスとポケモンの長所を合体させ今までのポケモンによりもたらされた体験を現実世界に持ち出そうとしています先ほど申し上げましたように、これは、私たちの家族全員で安心に楽しめるもので、みんなに外に出て新鮮な空気を吸い、新しい場所を発見するモチベーションを与えることがゴールです。新鮮な空気を吸い、新しい場所を発見するモチベーションを与えることがゴールです。So、the the game, 今回初めて、ポケモンは現実世界を自由に歩き回ることになります。Pokemon Go will allow players to capture Pokemon who inhabit parks, shopping areas, sidewalks, the countryside, and places all around the world. Pokemon Go では、プレイヤーは世界中の公園、ショッピングセンター、歩道、田舎町などに住むポケモンを捕まえることができます。Imagine discovering a squirtle hiding along the waterfront in San Francisco, or a Bulbasaur at Shinjuku Station. Or even Pikachu hiding by the Eiffel Tower. サンフランシスコの水辺にいるミゼニガメ、シンジュにいる不思議だね、エフェルタワーの下にいるピカチュウを想像してみてください。So I personally love to explore new places and I can't wait to play this game. 私ももっともっと探検をしたいですし、このゲームは遊ぶのを待ちきれません。We have some great collaborators on this project. このゲームには一人重要なパートナーがいらっしゃいます。今日は、ゲーム、レジェンド、ここで一人の伝説的ゲーム開発者を紹介させてください。彼は当初からポケモンの開発に関わっていた方です。So、give a warm welcome 紹介いたします。To Masuda さん、マスダさん、どうぞステージへ。ポケモンのゲームのディレクターをしていますゲームリックのマスです。ジュニシマスダ from Game Freak where I work as a game director。今回のこのプロジェクトでは世界観の構築やゲームデザインそして音楽で参加しています。So on this particular project, I'm mostly involved with helping create the setting, doing some of the game design as well as some of the music、えー。皆さんついにこの地球上にポケモンが現れることになりました。The day has finally come that Pokemon are going to appear in the real world. Pokemon live in all manner of places on the earth. So players are going to seek out these Pokemon, use their Pokeballs to capture them, and then use them to battle with other players. So, in a simple game, the game is a simple game. 幅広い世代で楽しめるようなゲームを作っています。So of course, in Pokemon Go, that sounds like it's a simple gameplay, but we're also working to create a lot of depth so that the game can be enjoyed by players of a wide range of ages. ポケモンというのをですね、ペットというよりより人に近い友達のような不思議な生き物だと考えています。So, in my mind, Pokemon are these mysterious creatures that are they're not like pets, but more close, something close to a friend. So, what kind of powers might these Pokemon have, and where would they live? So, alongside Niantic, we're really hard at work. To explore these new possibilities of what Pokemon can be, and we're making sure we're not restricting ourselves with the conventions of the series up until now. But of course, at the same time, I'm thinking of ways in which this new game will connect with future titles and the main series of Pokemon games. 2016年はポケモンが生まれて
ちょうど20周年目にあたります私にとってとても大きな意味があるこの年にこのプロジェクトに参加することができてとてもエキサイティングです So next year, 2016, it's a very meaningful year for me in that it represents the 20th anniversary since the original Pokemon games were released. And I'm really excited to be a part of this project on such a momentous occasion. So I really hope that all of you will look forward to Pokemon Go. Thank you, Masuda san. I think you can see that we have a spectacular team, and I can assure you that we're already working very, very hard to make an amazing brand new Pokemon experience. Masuda san, thank you very much. Masuda san, you have a great team to make a great team. You have a great team to make a great team to make a great team. John, Masuda san, you have a great team to make a great team. John, Mr. Masuda, thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to playing the game too. Sate, Boto de Ibata Santo Tolikun de Kato Hanasio Saste Itakimastaga, Kono Project of Nintendo Sanimo, Kak, Kakarate Itaimas. So near the beginning, I had mentioned that I had been working on this project with the late Mr. Iwata, and Nintendo was also heavily involved in it. Sakyo de Boto de Omisesta Ezo Nakanimo, Shoto Hintoga. あったかもしれませんが、これからそのことについてご説明させていただきます。So you may have spotted a hint in the video we played a few moments ago, but I'd like to explain a little bit more about what their involvement is. 最近、まあスマートフォンの画面を見続けて、周りに気づかないという人が非常に増えています。So I feel like these days you see more and more people who are staring down at their smartphone screens and not really paying attention to their surroundings. ポケモン GO は世代を問わず遊ばれるゲームになってほしいと願ってますのでスマートフォンの画面を見続けなくても遊べるデバイスを任天堂さんと一緒に開発しました。So I want Pokemon Go. I hope that will be a game that players of a wide range of ages will be able to enjoy. And alongside Nintendo, we've come up with a device that allows you to perform certain actions with the game without having to look down at your screen. えー、これがポケモン GO プラスです。This is what we're calling Pokemon Go Plus、えー。ポケモン GO プラスは光とバイブレーションによってゲーム内でのイベント、まあ、例えば近くにピカチュウが現れたといったことをプレイヤーに伝えることができます。So, Pokemon Go Plus uses an LED and vibration function to notify the player of events happening in the game, such as the appearance of a Pikachu. So, it pairs via Bluetooth with your Android smartphone or iPhone, and it communicates, and you can perform、uh, certain actions by pressing the button in the center, like throwing a Pokeball, for example. So, we really kept the functionality to a minimum to keep the device simple. It has the LED and the vibration functionality. It doesn't have a screen and it doesn't have a voice guide, for example. Vibration is a very important thing to do with the device. The device is a very important thing to do with the device. So, it's hard to communicate here on stage how the rumble feature works, but if you just envision how your、uh, smartphone device works on silent mode, I think you'll get a good idea.、Yeah. マイクで拾うと、so when picking it up the mic here, まあこんな感じで進行しています。Kind of sounds like this. まあこのポケモン GO プラスにとって一番大切に思っているのはプレイヤーに自然に何かを気づかせることです。So the main purpose of Pokemon GO Plus is to notify players of something that's happening in the game naturally. えというのもプレイヤーにまあ、スマートフォンの画面だけではなくて、まあ、より外の世界にも
目を向けてもらいたいと思っているからです。And the reason for that is that we want players not to just focus on their smartphone screens, but also pay attention to their surroundings. So, of course, Pokemon Go can be enjoyed without Pokemon Go Plus. But I believe a lot of players who want the increased usefulness and maybe the ability to role play better will find this to be a must have gadget. So actually, I've invited another person here today who can tell you a bit more about this device. Mr. Miyamoto from Nintendo. あの紹介に預かりました任天堂の宮本です。えー、今日はね実はスーパーマリオメーカーの発売日なんですねそれでこう東京に宣伝に来たっていうわけでもないですよ本当にあのこのイベントのために来ましたえー、っと私の方からね今日は本来は岩田さんがねしてもらえばよかったんです岩田さんと石原さんと一緒に我々が取り組んでことに取り組んできたことについて少しお話をさせていただこうと思います。Thank you for the introduction. I'm Miyamoto of Nintendo. Super Mario Maker just came out today, so I'm here to tell you all about it. <laughs> Joking aside, I didn't, came he I didn't come here to advertise our product, but instead, I'm here to tell you about what Mr. Iwata and Mr. Ishihara had been working on for some time now. からもね話があったんですけどもちょうど石原さんと一緒に最初のポケモンの赤緑をプロデュースしたんですけどもそれからもう20年経ちましたね本当にあの長いお付き合いになりますでまあその当時のスーパーマリオと比べたらポケモンは本当ルーキーだと思ってたんですけども今振り返ってみると本当に、えー、ルーキーとは思えないぐらいに成長して頼もしくなったもんですねそうですね Mr. Mr. Masuda from Game Freak just mentioned that next year it would have been 20 years since Pokemon Red and Green came out. So, Mr. Ishihara and I have known each other for so long. Compared to Mario, Super Mario Brothers, though, I always felt Pokemon was just a rookie. But it's no longer a rookie. Yeah, ma, Mario, 30 years. でまあ、ポケモンは来年でやっと 20, 20年ですので、まあ、これだけは永遠にマリオには追いつけないと思います。<笑>ずっとね、<笑>兄貴ですから。Of course, with Mario now in its 30th anniversary and Pokemon just about to reach its 20th anniversary, I, I don't think we're ever going to be able to catch up to Mario. それからね、あの最初の上映されたビデオを初めて見たときに、なんか岩さんと一緒に作ったポケモンスナップをね、思い出してたんですね。でポケモンスナップっていうのはこう写真を撮るだけしかもこう、まあ、バーチャルな空間なんですけど今度は実際のいろんな場所にいて本当にポケモンを捕まえるっていう本当にその遊びの感覚がよく似てるなと思って蘇ってきました。The video played at the beginning reminded me of a Pokemon Snap which I worked on with Mr. Iwata. So instead of taking photos in the virtual world we're going to actual places to catch Pokemon. But it, it gives off a similar feeling to Pokemon Snap. Yeah, definitely. I think that being in the, it, that feeling of being in the same space as Pokemon and really staring at them face to face is similar between the games. ポケモン GO プラスをペアリングしてね、はい、で一緒にポケモンを探して遊ぶっていう
あのこの姿はやっぱりすごく驚きますね<笑> I also like this scene where a kid was playing along with his dad a kid wears Pokemon Go Plus paired with the father's smartphone so he can enjoy catching Pokemon with his dad I think it's great いや本当にあれが理想的な遊び方だと思います Yeah, I totally agree. I think that's kind of the ideal way to play for some people. これさっきからこうピカピカしてるんですけど。あの今日僕がつけてるこのポケモン GO プラスはこうクリップタイプですね。けど石原さんがつけてるのはベルトタイプ。はい。こうしてあの実際どうやって使って遊ぶんだろうということをすごくこだわって僕らはデザインを考えてきました。Has a wrist strap. You can change between the two depending on the play style. When designing the device, we really focused on how players would look when using it. Nintendo has a lot of games that have been made in the past, but it's not a game that's been made in the past. It's not a game that's been made in the past. It's not a game that's been made in the past. So, Nintendo has created a wide variety of games and game devices. But all of them have had common mission of expanding the gaming population. で今日こう発表しているポケモン GO とそれからポケモン GO プラスってねまさにそのミッションをさらに現実のものにしていく一歩だと感じてます。So Pokemon Go and Pokemon Go Plus announced today represent another big step forward in realizing that mission. でこのねポケモン GO プラスを使ってでポケモン GO を遊ぶ人がどんどん広がって幅広い人に楽しんでもらえたらなと思いますあのこういう機会を作っていただいて皆さんに本当に感謝しています、so、I hope people from a wide range of ages will be able to enjoy Pokemon Go using the Pokemon Go Plus I'd like to thank all our partners for creating this opportunity for us いやもう本当にこちらこそありがとうございますありがとうございます、no, Thank you Mr. Miyamoto よろしくお願いします thank you. このようにポケモン GO は一社単独で手掛けるような、まあ、通常のアプリ開発ではなく、まあ、今日ここに登壇してくれましたナイアンティックのジョンゲームフリークの増田さんそして任天堂の宮本さんをはじめさまざまなパートナーとともに進めていく位置情報の技術を,技術を使った新しいプロジェクトです。So different than many smartphone applications that are usually developed by one company, with Pokemon Go, we're working with a variety of partners, such as the folks here on stage, John Hankey from Niantic, Mr. Masuda from Game Freak, Mr. Miyamoto from Nintendo. And we're all working together to create this new game that uses location-based technology. So, I hope that all of you will look forward to the day when you can be playing Pokemon Go on your own smartphones. And with that, I'd like to conclude today's announcement. Thank you very much for taking the time to attend today. <laughs>